Hi everybody, I am Dr. Ginger Sturgeon and I am the head veterinarian and the director of animal health here at the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. And during the coronavirus pandemic when everybody is sheltering in place, our animals still need to receive great care here at the zoo and that's what uh, myself and uh, Libby, our head veterinary technician who is filming right now, thanks Lib are doing as well with the rest of our veterinary team and all of our animal care teams. So today, I wanted to show you guys our goat herd. They're down here in Kids Kingdom. Where, um, they're in part of the petting yard um, and they're self-petting <laughs> right now. So we have two different types of goat species here at Pittsburgh. We have um, these taller goats, which um, are all castrated males. They are Nubian crosses. They're much taller. And then these two little ones here, this is Bowie and this is Mercury, they're um, pygmy goats. And so they are a lot smaller. People think that they're often baby goats of the big ones. And while they are younger, they are actually full size. So today Libby and I are gonna be showing you how we trim their hooves. It's kind of like just clipping your own fingernails and you wanna to try to do it on a regular basis. And that prevents them from developing any abnormalities with their nails kind of twisting under on their hooves. And we'll give you some up close shots. We're going to try out the GoPro today to give you guys a view of what I actually see when I do the goat hoof trims. And we'll go from there. So let's get started. All right, so there's Libby, <laughs> our head veterinary technician. And you can see the other goats they're awaiting their hoof trims as well. And here we have Quill. Now I might be a little biased, but um, I think Quill is the best goat. He's very laid back. He doesn't cause any issues with the other goats. He never headbutts them. He enjoys all of his visitors coming to pet him when the goat yard is open. Right, right Quill? Are you the best goat? Yes, you are. I know. I love you. All right, so we're getting ready to trim Quill's hooves. And we use what's called a hoof pick. It's got a brush on it, as well as a little kind of, almost like a file. And we're trying to get that dirt out from underneath that hoof wall. And for goats, we want the entire surface to be flat. So we don't want this ridge from that hoof to the bottom of his sole. So that's what we'll be trimming today. It's just like trimming your fingernails at home. We use a special scissors called a hoof scissors. And get those now. And we're just trying to prevent that ridge there. That's what we're looking for, that pretty white. And as we're doing this, we're assessing, is there any damage to the hoofs or the toes? Does everything look normal? Quill is getting a little bit up there in age, so we can start to see some arthritis in our older animals, just like you guys at home. When we get older, we all get a little bit of arthritis. Um, and the way that we'll be able to see that with Quill is if there's any change in the way he's holding his foot. So now we'll pick his foot up and we support his body when we have his feet up. And again, we're trying to make, our goal is to make this entire surface flat, which it's close. So we just need to trim just a little bit on this foot. Good. And again, it's just like trimming your fingernails. It doesn't hurt. You don't have nerve sensation in that part of the nail or the hook. Good boy. And he's, he's dancing around a little bit. Um, and we normally have more people helping us, but again, we're trying to minimize cross-contamination of staff when we can. There you go, Quill. Cool. All right, let's try this on some more, buddy. What? Good boy. Good. 
good boy. Again, just trying to make this flat. Same thing, we're looking at confirmation, we're looking at any sign of infection, any pebbles stuck underneath there. I don't see any of that in this hook. It all looks pretty nice. We also use our sense of smell. Does it smell um, bad? Indicating that water could be getting trapped underneath that hoof line. And no, his feet do not currently smell. So that's all good. Oh, what a good big goat. All right, so here we are at with our friend Mercury, who is one of our pygmy goats. I think the biggest part of it is just being able to safely restrain them in a position that's comfortable for them while you're working with them. And we trim our goat's hooves um, once a month on a routine basis, and then certainly we would do it more if there was any problems um, noted. But we find that once a month, keeps up the trim so that we're only doing small little trims, nothing corrective, and then that will lead to better foot health for those animals. So that looks good. I like to see the white shiny line of that hook all the way around. Are you always a helper? Not really. Are you kind of just naughty but um, adorable? Foot. Good job. Brush it, pick it. Now this one you can see is really nice and flat on those inside surface that's called the medial edge right there to that one. And are you trying to eat my glove? That is not very helpful. I know, what is he doing, Mercury? Just a tiny little trim. And that looks good. Well, thank you guys for tuning in to um, watch our goat herd get their routine hoof trims. <laughs> Imagine that, right? Bowie was being naughty again. Um, and we thank you for tuning in. Please stay safe out there and we'll see you next time.